Yeah, hi. Talk a little bit about craters and stuff. Electric Universe. Lake Lappajärvi in Finland. I talked about this recently. It's a lake in Finland in the municipality of Lappajärvi, Alajärvi and Wimpeli. It is formed in a 23 kilometers wide party eroded meteorite impact crater. That's the lake. So let's go to Google Earth. It's this one. So let's go a little bit closer. Turn it around a bit. So for people who have heard about the electric universe and electric scarred Mars and scarred Earth and all these kind of things. You aren't probably surprised about seeing craters in alignments. And if you watch at the Finnish landscape, we have this crater and we have this line behind it. We have this is elongated, that makes a turn. This is all, they're all, all of those lakes are in a way aligned in the same direction. And talking about craters, here you see one of the line and here is another one. There is probably a third one too, but these are these kind of mountain ridges. As you can see, there's a road built on top of it. But let's go back to the other lake, Lappajärvi. And here has, this lake has also the, this kind of little bit elongated shape. Those which are following here, they're all in the same direction. And I want to show you something else. Now let's go a little bit farther away. So this is the lake. And this is this little tip here. And if we go to this map here, I showed you this many times. Let's figure out where we are. So I guess, my best guess, the lake is somewhere around here. which is in a red area, as you can see. And I'm not really sure, but this is the Kursk Magnetic Anomaly. I don't know if this whole structure has its own name or is the whole structure the Magnetic Anomaly. I'm not really sure. I didn't figure out that yet. But I want to I want you to take a few things into account before I show you the next pick. And it's like, first of all, we have the C pin shape here. And I would say this is plus, and these are the minus. And our lake, which is formed by a meteorite, is right here. Let's take another counter somewhere here. So I, I bet a meteorite doesn't create this kind of uh, magnetic anomaly into the ground. But let's search for this other picture that I wanted to show you, which relates to this one. Yeah, actually, I didn't find what I was searching for, but anyway. This is the sun like you've never seen it before. Mm, you can read this stuff if you want to. I will put a link down below. This one. You know. How to explain that. They go up and they are connected back here. But there's also. Like if you would draw it like that. It starts from here, goes up, 
and comes down, or vice versa. But the thing is, there's also stuff coming from here, going to the other side, like going through this first loop. This goes from like this side to that side, which we can see on this other picture, on this one. Get, it gets in, even bigger. Ah, now it's... Ah, probably I can draw on something here now. Like if that would be somehow the filament. Ground to ground arc discharge. There's this other one which goes through that. C pinch plasma discharge. And the lake, which is supposedly created by a meteorite, is exactly in one of the darkest area what we have here of this discharge event. So I don't think that this crater got made by the meteorite because the evidence for the create for the crater being created through an electrical discharge event speaks for itself of course you can find probably some meteorite parts somewhere why not they're everywhere but <coughs> if that lake is created by a meteorite so it would indicate that all, maybe all, probably all, lakes are created too by a meteorite. They just tumbled over Finland, creating like, all the meteorites just tumbled, like, dropped on Finland and created all those lakes. Uh, it doesn't sound really realistic. Not just why, particularly this one. Because it's round, doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> There, yeah, I just wanted to point that out, that Lapajärvi is sighted in, inside this magnetic anomaly. Like really inside, somewhere here. So I bet it's not a meteorite who made the Lie to this Lapajärvi lake. This is what I claim. This is why I claim it might be not a meteorite after all. Thanks.